talking about my asshole today. I'm talking about the people type of asshole that exists out there. The sort that is inconsiderate, not super empathetic or compassionate, or really understanding about how bodies work outside of theirs. Hello everyone, I am Mia Lee. For those of you tuning in right now, I am an adult film performer, webcam model, YouTuber, and a lover of burritos. Overall, I try to keep my videos pretty positive and stick to themes that are uplifting and empowering and educational, but it's also important to speak on the things that aren't great. As a refresher, cam modeling and webcamming is when a model interacts with a member or an individual who's paying for that interaction through the internet, through a video web streaming device. Something that I really, really appreciate as a cam model and hope to expect even from the interactions that I have with people who come into my room is that I expect to be treated like a human being, but honestly, that just isn't always the case. There are some people, some members who come into cam rooms and just can't wrap their heads around the notion that the person that they're viewing, that they're interacting with, is a living, breathing, feeling person doing emotional labor for their benefit as an exchange. Sometimes an asshole comes in the form of a member who feels entitled to freebies. Hey, can I have a flash before we get to session? The answer is probably no, because from that interaction alone, I'm assuming you don't want to go to session, you just want a free glimpse of my butt. I'm doing emotional labor here. Hey, Harley, do you want to change into this, that, and the other thing that's totally contrived and out of frame that will make you go out of your way to dig through your entire wardrobe to fulfill this fantasy that I have above anyone else's? I'm not, I'm not really going to pay for it. Can you just, can you just do it? No. No, do that in a session. Pay for it. And I'll gladly do it. It's that that's not that hard. If as a member you have a request, make the request and follow up with a tribute or an exchange for this service that this cam model is providing you. And it's always good to check in if that's a request that the cam model can fulfill in the first place. Some people demand these things of your body and think that just because they're in this paid space that you as a cam model have to do everything. That can trigger people. Sometimes you're in a session and someone asks you to come in five seconds. That's not gonna happen. When you're insistent on me touching myself in a way that's uncomfortable to me, harder, faster, deeper, rougher, I'm gonna explain to you that my body works this way and it feels best when I touch it this way. Or I'll fake an orgasm. Don't be insistent when I'm not prepared, when I'm not given time, when I'm just not able to fulfill those things in that time frame that you are demanding. And just be understanding of that. In a cam room, people are still people. In any situation, people are still people. Cam models and members have boundaries and it's important to express those boundaries and make them known and also be understanding of them. When you get down to camming, communicate. Don't forget that there are people on both sides of the computer screen and have fun. Have lots of fun and feel good about it. Thanks you guys for watching this week's video. I will be back next week talking about real buttholes, particularly mine, that are kind of on demand on cam. And until then, leave a question, comment, or concern down below. I'll keep an eye out on them. Click subscribe, and until then, take care. Bye! One time I made brownie batter in the bathtub and poured it on myself. This one time I was asked to roleplay as Cho Chang demeaning a very, very fragile Luna Lovegood, and I said horrible things about the quibbler. This one time I was asked to eat a burrito on cam naked. It was a pretty great session. But I did have to burp on command, which was super hard, and I think I almost puked.